Before we get into what is Six Sigma, we would like to know that what is the history behind Six Sigma? How Six Sigma was started? Who all were there when Six Sigma was started? Six Sigma as a concept was developed by Bill Smith. He's also known as the father of Six Sigma. Uh, Motorola was the first company who started Six Sigma breakthrough strategy. They started this methodology implementation in Motorola in 1987. Motorola recorded more than 16 billion savings from Six Sigma implementations. Okay. Um, and how they were able to do it, that's something which we're going to discuss now. In early 1980s, Motorola was facing a serious comparative challenge from Japanese companies. There were a lot of different, different comparators that, uh, that were there at that point in time in Japanese. And Motorola was losing the market share and customer confidence. They were not able to satisfy the customer need and expectation. Okay, they were, their, their profit margin was getting reduced. They were not getting more customers. Uh, they were losing every bit. Motorola had not done any major changes to their product. The competitors from Japan were offering much better product at much lower price with no field failures. Okay. However, all these things are there with Motorola. They were not offering good services, they were charging high, and there are a lot of field failures also. So what Motorola did is they requested the competitors from Japan to permit the team from Motorola to visit them for study. Okay, uh, because Motorola wanted to see the, what other competitors are doing so that I can also try and implement that so that I can also get rid of these issues. Motorola sent the team of managers to Japan to study the magic of Japanese companies. So that's, that's, that's something which they wanted to know. When Motorola went there, stayed there for a few days, the team was based out in, in those organizations for, few, for some time, uh, what they noticed is the internal defect rate was very high inside Motorola. They just compared themselves with uh, other competitors. The rework and repair rate was also very high at Motorola. The reliability was low since some of the defects were passing on to the customer as inspection lapses. A dissatisfied customer was shouting loudly and was taking away at least 10 minimum potential customer. And as an effect to this, customer were lost from the competitors. Okay. So when Motorola investigated, analyzed, they found that these are the things which are our biggest opportunities that they have. And by controlling the cost of rework, training the employees, they were able to produce defect free. With the help of this, I'm just going back to the previous slide. Motorola recorded more than 16 billion savings by just implementing these things. And this is something which we discuss in dimensions of quality also. Now the next thing that we want to talk about is where can Six Sigma be applied? Okay. First of all, we should think in our mindset, is there any organization, is there any department which can run without continuous improvement? Okay. I'm sure the answer must be no, because everywhere it requires continuous improvement. Similarly, when we see Six Sigma, we see Six Sigma can be applied in each and every department, each and every organization, be it Service, service industry design, purchase, production, information technology, finance, HRM, quality department, administration, management. Six Sigma can be applied anywhere. Okay. There are a few companies which is there in the list and there are many more than that which are using Six Sigma in a daily life. And if you see here, all the big brands are using Six Sigma all type of industry, be it, a, be it a pharmaceutical, be it a telecom, uh, be it IT industry, be it bank, be it steel industry, more automobile industries, all of them are using Six Sigma. So it is everywhere where the Six Sigma is being used. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Now we are going to learn what is Six Sigma. Okay. 
Six Sigma can be used as a problem solving methodology also, uh, which is which says y is equal to f x. Okay, let's let's understand it by y is an output measure, okay, which we are going to work upon. It's an opportunity, it's a it's a project, it's an idea which you want to work upon. Okay. X is the input factor, which could be the causes, the factors, the constraints, which is leading to the output. And F is a function, the relation between Y and X. Okay. So between Y and X, Y represents a key process output. X represents a key process input that strongly affects the output. And F, as I said, represents a relation between the inputs and the outputs. Okay. So out of y and x, y is a dependent variable because if anything happens on x, it would have a significant impact on y. However, x are the independent variable because there could be multiple x's and if you work on any of the x, the other x would not have any significant impact. So Six Sigma is a problem solving methodology wherein y is an output and we need to identify and work on the access access as the process input or maybe the causes or factors second definition of six sigma is six sigma is a metric six sigma is used as a common yardstick of measurement for business processes okay um, why six sigma is, is used as a common yardstick for a measurement of business processes because nowadays you see that the different organization the different departments within the organization and it is very very difficult to compare the performance of each other but with the help of sigma we can see how that project is performing how that process is performing okay six sigma can be measured as one sigma two sigma three sigma four sigma okay so the second definition of six sigma is six sigma as a metric the third definition of Six Sigma is Six Sigma as a management system. So there are three frame, framework which are used in Six Sigma. One is known as DMAIC, which is known as DMAC. Then we have DMADV, okay? And then we have DFSS. So these are the three process improvement methodologies which are being used uh, in Six Sigma. 